this where I did a video or three part video series looking at all the Porsche die cast and 164 scale I have and now after the video I've picked up a few more for the weekend at Beach Fairs and then I found a few more in Jordan bags as well so I thought I'll quickly video them to add them to the series as part four now in the first video I only had two boxes and since then found a couple packed away and I found three of these at the um, boot fair recently so in the first one we had the Hot Wheels Boxster in red the previous one I showed you was in white this one's in quite good condition compared to the other one the paint's quite nice I don't see it off as often in red I've seen them more in white the full headlight similar wheels the other one and they like on the rear and next door we have another matchbox Porsche Boxster in yellow we have another one up there this one has the full headlights and side repeater tampos and different wheels to the other yellow one Tail lights, the dark brown interior. And see, it's in a bit of play warm condition, but I still feel like pick it up. You can see it's a good see in the video, and it's got the wheels left used on these matchbox boxes. And now, next door, I think this is a Maisto. It's a real toy. A real toy boxer. Similar generation to that Hot Wheels. But Overall, I think they've done a better job of the casting, and the scale seems to fit in more with the matchbox than the Hot Wheels, which seems a bit small. Front and rear lights, nice wheels on it, black interior. I thought I'd have to pick that one up. And here we have a really play-worn matchbox in yellow. Matchbox logo on the back there, rear tail light. Wheels are all faded, there's lots of scratching and paint chips, and I think the axles are bent. But I've had a good life on the, on the play mat. And sat on the ramp for repairs. Next to it, there's a play one Corgi 911 there. It's looking quite forlorn as well, could do with a repaint. Another one I picked up at the weekend is this Laserette. GT3RS, silver, and it looks really nice at the side, it's quite good condition, but the side, the door's been ripped off, so I think it may be a good candidate for sitting in the repair shop, being repaired, or going in the scrapyard soon, for a bit of salvage. Next set we have another 911, this one again is a real toy. They produce some quite nice, quite accurate toy cars in 164. Yes, so certain features may look a bit more toy like, but for the money, they're quite accurate. And they had quite a decent range. I think I've got two of these in red. And they fit in quite nicely with the Matchbox Hot Wheels offerings. And I found in another box is another white 911 in Hot Wheels. Another GT3, another in RS, in plain white, looks quite clean in this colour, be nice to get one without the paint chips, although they did well at getting the overall shape of this car, and then of course I have quite a lot of Carrera GTs, and as you saw in the video where they featured, the conditions vary and the amount of tempo work now this one's in pretty good condition and does the full headlights and i think the rear lights or the engine and everything it's a slightly different color to the other ones i've got so it's quite nice finding that so i'll get added to the rest of them and then i found this at the weekend now i haven't got any matchbox porsche cayennes and the only other cayenne i have is the mini champ is more of a premium so it's nice to have an example of a Cayenne since they're so popular on the road and more basic 
little bit play warm, but the paint's quite good. The wheels are fading a bit, the rusty axle. Like front tampos, rear tampos, chrome exhaust for the chrome base. So chrome turbo. It's grey with light grey interior. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably do some updates on maybe the McLarens and Ferraris at some stage when I get a few more of them in. What date to add to those series? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.